Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Tin Can. We're going to do another run. 29 minutes and 50 seconds is the score to beat. Interesting. Should be very exciting. Now, I'm pretty sure the game's actually released uh, in full. Well, I guess early access, whatever state. My point is that you don't have to just watch me. You can go and check it out on the store. So there's your plug. Go and grab a copy yourself and play it for eight hours straight and then come over here in backseat and tell me how you know everything better than me. Ha! Ah, no one would do that though, would they? All right, we're gonna jump straight in. Learn by doing. I'm excited, I'm pumped. One thing that uh, people were suggesting was like maybe pull a battery out and leave it sort of on the side, but it occurs to me as well that like, wouldn't cold nebulas and all that drain your battery nonetheless? Well, I guess that was for the um, the electric sort of nebula, wasn't it? Anyway, straight into it, team. Let's go. Let's go. Brace for impact. Now, I wonder if it's always the same starting thing. I guess that's the danger of having like a leaderboard, you know? You kind of, I suppose you require consistency. No, that's not good. Uh, something, something sparked behind me, I heard it. Well, what have you got to say? Nothing. Bad fuse. Bad fuse. Low pump. There's an actual pump in, in this, isn't there? There it is there. Uh, Damaged battery, bad fuse. That's all right, we can work with this. We can work with this. Don't need to flat spin just yet. Fucking hell. Oh, we've got a data problem there. All right, overall, we're still going, we're still all right. The pile's safe for the moment. I mean, the bad fuse isn't ideal. Um, bad fuse on that one, too. But, uh... Here's a question. Can we still run the system without a fuse in it? I guess it's silly, but let's try it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Okay, cool. Um, having said that, I won't be able to repair this. I need to scrap something. Well, as per the usual, we're going to scrap the main lights. Let's start cannibalizing. Shit, I'll take the switch. Uh, dismantle. I can't dismantle the switch. Okay. Mm, that can stay there. I'll take the transformer. All right. What we were going to do, we are going to replace a fuse, weren't we? Uh, fuse. All right. Repair. Repair in progress. Let's check out the pump situation here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Yeah, we might have to have a look at that in a sec. Um, can I lift that up while that's out? Well, I can have them both open. Okay. We're doing all right. CO2's creeping up. All right, have you finished or what? Where's the fuse? It's a high capacity fuse. Oh my goodness. Well, 
hang on. We might as well replace one of the fuses while we're at it. Bad fuse. Well, we'll just put this back in, I guess. Kind of want to fix that data. How's this going? It's all right. Goodness me. Damaged battery. Um, yeah, I suppose we could repair that. We might have to turn the logic computer off first. Oh, we need more parts. I did already butcher those, didn't I? Oh, there's a fuse. They're a perfectly good fuse. Stuff it. I'm just doing it, whatever. Flat spinning a little bit here. Bad power transformer. That's not great. Hmm, there's more O2 in this tank anyway. Bad power transformer. That should cycle up. Oh, it's got a boot, right? Yeah. Um, I already pulled the transformer apart, didn't I? 16 parts. Right. Um, we'll turn this off for a sec. Transformer. Come on. It's much of a muchness, isn't it? Bad fuse. How many parts we got? Twenty-five. Temperature's good. O two's all right. Okay, we're doing okay. Low battery. I guess we could fast charge it. That's not good. We have to fix that. Though the draw is probably pretty incredible while we fast charge that. That's enough. We'll cycle that up.
We got a lot of damage on this ship. Right, something's not talking to something over there. Uh, yeah, this, this is what I was worried about. Bad fuse. I mean, I, I guess we don't have a bad fuse here. I'm gonna... Oh, hang on. I took out the good fuse. Right. Required parts, current parts. Where am I going to get all these fucking parts from? Cold nebula, eh? What do we do about that? If I were to turn this off now, the pile should start to run off. Looks like it. Okay. All right. Still too much draw. If I pull off the main computer, does it, can I still get power to these? Can. That's fine. Alright, temperature holds for the moment. Okay, we're doing alright on draw. I just need to watch. CO2 is very high, okay. That bottle's quite... That needs to be on. Alright, draw's pretty good. We're still staying warm in here. Breathability's not great. CO2's not scrubbing down. Bottles full. Bottles full, bottles full. Come on. We're in a spot of bother. Right, because that bottle's mostly full. This thing better be fucking scrubbing. Got good battery. Feel like the pump's not going. Um, yeah, look, it's not doing it. All right, I'm gonna go with pump. Uh, pump.
we're gonna swap out what I know um coolant coolant we don't need coolant shit wrong hand where's the pump go come on come on I was right about the pump, so that's good. CO2's through the roof. Oxygen could be just compensating with the other system. Breathability's not good. Baby, keep it together. It is scrubbing down. Oh shit, I've dropped the bottle. Be good if I actually had that system on. Alright, our draw's good. CO2's down. We just need to get the O2 up. I think we did it. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Come on. God damn. It's got to be the pump. Um. It's not pumping, shit, shit, shit. Where is it pumping? I can't tell, where's the pump? O2's coming back up. CO2's creeping back up. Full can. Come on, come on. I think we're out of the cold thing perhaps i mean we're not frosting up anymore shit let's put it to the test start turning all the systems back on come on give me gravity yes all right draw an atomic temperature Hmm, maybe not. No, we're good now, we're coming up now. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, now. Now what? Repair station offline. Yeah, I think that's going to turn it off. Low battery on this. Um... All right, let's, uh... So I like those sparks. All right. Draws through the roof, but we could have, I could have told you that. Breathability's good, pressure's good. Does the battery charger just jump in front? I think it really does. data connector for starters. I'm not really sure what more I can cannibalize here, you know? I'm really running out of things to gut. Did it, like, have I done all of this stuff? Large battery fuse. Shit. Fuse. Oh, what am I doing? I need to close the door. Wait, but it's saying current parts. Oh, hang on. Oh, that maybe there was an error there? I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting breathing problems. Low O2. That's a temperature problem. It's a temperature problem. It's the pump. Um... That's because I wasn't closing the door and it wasn't giving me a display. Oh man, I don't, I don't really know what I can do there. Um, I mean, can I just start pulling bloody caution buttons off and salvaging them? Dismantle. Temperature's still too high. T 
It's all right. That pump's going to get it back under. That'll be fine. Oxygen's low. Our breathability's coming down. CO2's going back up. Come on. Coolant's good. CO2's creeping up. O2's scrubbing. Bad fuse, low pump. Oh shit. That's not. What is going on there? There's not enough room to scrub. CO2 is getting too high. Fuck! <sighs> I was getting ready to turn all my systems off, but oh well. All right, hang on. That means we've lost master power. That's tripping immediately. Um. No battery. Where do we have batteries? Main lights doesn't have a battery, I know that. Hang on. Okay. Pile. Um, I mean, it can't, I doubt it's a, a bad fuse, but we will swap them just in case. Okay. Nah, the fuse is, uh, it's tripping. So it's probably, could be the transformer, right? Fingers crossed. Fuck. So it's immediately tripping. Um, could be the power connector. Fuck's sake! I, I don't know what to I don't know what to tell you. All right, okay.
Scrub, 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 scrub. Come on. God damn it. I've got nowhere to scrub to. Oh. I think that's the end of it. 30 minutes and 59 seconds. What got me in the end? Hypoxia. Okay. Okay. Oh, not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. That was that was a, a lot of fun. It was interesting is that um that I assumed that the system kept tripping because the fuse was doing its job. You know what I mean? A fuse will cause a trip because as a surge, it didn't actually occur to me that the fuse itself could be in error. So the fuse had actually blown out and was tripping the power. So, but the thing is you can run the system without the fuse. Um, I don't know, I could have done it. If I did it the other way round, if I pulled the fuse out and started the system without it, that would potentially cause catastrophic damage if it wasn't actually the fuse. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah, because the fuse is to protect it from surges. But having said that, I guess the, uh, the electronic storm probably caused surges in all the systems and probably blew all my fuses. That actually makes sense because I was going around pulling fuses out and everything was starting all right. So I wonder if ahead of that storm, or whatever the fuck it was called, maybe just turning everything off and letting the storm pass might be the go to prevent surges from blowing out all your fuses. Hmm. Interesting. I think we did all right, though. I think we did quite all right. It was interesting. I was running into a problem where I didn't have enough oxygen, like the cans weren't empty. So I don't know... I don't know what to do about that. You know what I mean? Like the oxygen cans were full, but I needed to scrub the CO2. I wonder if there's a, I don't think there's a way to like manually let off the cans. It should, it should all be in balance, shouldn't it? I guess. I don't know. Maybe I could turn the, the, the pressure pump off for the, uh, the nitrogen filler. Do you know what I mean? But that regulates as well. Like that draws in or pumps out nitrogen to fill the system. But maybe if that's in error, it's putting too much nitrogen into the system, which is why the oxygen's not going through as much. That could have been what it was. Now that I think about it, I think we had a, a pump with the the pressure, whatever you want to call it, the nitrogen pressure regulator shelf, the third shelf down on the bottom. What if that was just running faulty pretty much the whole time? And that's why I was having this creeping problem where I was probably just not cycling the O2 very much. I don't know. Interesting. A lot to think about, a lot to debrief. Um, always curious what you guys have to say. Um, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you on the next one.